All right, man. Here we go. All right, man. Hang with B Drop Podcast, episode 43. Episode 43. Con mi hermano, my homie. You know what I'm saying? High school. High school sweetheart. <laughs> That's your high school sweetheart. Vibe it with King Roy, Roger Rocha, Social Security 6, oh, hey, 7. That's good. Imagine. Man, make <laughs> like, yo, sure you have you, a pencil down. Like, how do you know that shit? <laughs> That's how close we get. Nah, it's because I wanted to pitch you in my uh, my taxes, but you didn't let me. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm bad, dude. It's all good. You done your taxes already? I just came back yesterday from doing my taxes. Today Was it good? Is... We looking nice? Taking me out to eat or what? Is it looking like we're going to go to a fast food joint or are you taking me down to like a cheesecake? You know what I'm saying? Dessert. Bro, I'm just glad I didn't have to pay. Oh, uh, okay. So you're making, me food. you're making me a sandwich, huh? Yeah, you're low key. Sandwich. I was like, fuck. I would, honestly, I went in there being like, yo, they're going to. I'm, they're gonna tax me down. Yo, yeah, isn't it crazy how every time you do your taxes, you have like this nervous feeling of like, yo, like, like what's if gonna you're going to detention and shit, like <laughs> you're going to principals. I was like, Fuck. and you're waiting to get your taxes, you're just looking at the other people, and they're like, tú vas a ganar siete mil, and you're like, damn. But like, yo, can you sit down the low you <laughs> for me? <laughs> yeah, for real. There's, there's a lot of people out here. Yeah, for shit. real. Like, I'm pretty sure, like when they say it, people are scared and shit. Like, oh, oh yeah. You're gonna get okay, my mom like, was there and shit. She, she was there chilling. And she's just like, oh yeah, um, I todavía tienes la cuenta que. <laughs> <laughs> La de mi West Fargo? Yeah. Sí, ahí, ahí lo puedes depositar. They I'm start like, bringing up, oh shit, like, tú ya me debes, te acuerdas con Afita Star Prom, y me dijiste que me ibas a pagar. Ahorita me puedes pagar. <laughs> yeah, you're like, damn, I'm huh? like, fuck, that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah, like, why got me such an ass? For real. <laughs> like, But, um. She'd be like, ¿cuánto agarramos otra vez? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, agarramos. She'd, she'd, she'd like, Okay, the heat is que cuánto para el cuánto? <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? Like, I know. And it's like they charge you like from 60 to 100 just don't like, yeah. okay, eso tú lo vas a pagar. No te lo voy a quitar de aquí. No te lo voy a descontar de esto. You take care of it? <laughs> I was like, fuck, here we go. Damn, man. No, taxes, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy because like, you see all these commercials and like everything is like, you know, do this with your tax refund and do that. You there's, know what I mean? There's like TurboTax, uh, what H&R is it? H&R Block. There's a lot. Have you ever um, done one of those? No, nah, I've never had. I sh- uh, no, I know my mom. She did like H and R Block. I remember when I was a kid. I remember that little green box. Like we used to go, but I- I've personally never done it. I always go with the same person. Like she did it online or what? No, nah, she just went with this guy. She she just knew this guy and she just always do her taxes like that. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I but I know, know you can do your shit online. I've never met somebody that did them online. Yeah, me neither. Every time that. when I go to Target, they have it like on the on the like the fucking promo shit, and then people, I guess people could do it. I don't know, um, but I feel like how do you, I don't know? I feel like it's hard. You know what I'm saying? Or I wonder how much you get back. Like if you get hooked up, or you just do your taxes just to do it with no intent of getting money back. Probably. You know what I'm saying? What are you gonna do with your tax return? Have you thought about it? Like as far as what you're ah, gonna yeah, get? just giving it to my mom's. Give it to your mom. Yeah. Oh, you're a good kid. Nah, fuck that. Give mom. that shit. Hell not for me. I'm like, my ain't getting shit. The fuck? I, w- I work for that shit. I feel you. I'm in here long hey, nights. But you know what I heard? Um, <laughs> you know how some people put one dependent mm-hmm. and shit. Um, for this this year, I heard that uh, if you put one dependent, you can't put yourself. It has to be an actual dependent. An actual. If you person? put yeah, because if you put yourself, yeah, they won't take they won't take away money from you. From where I guess your check and shit, your check's yeah. gonna be looking nice. But when it comes to taxes, you're gonna get shit really. Yeah, it, honestly, it just depends how you look at it. Cause yeah, it, it's it's one of those where you want like a little savings account. That's what. Sh- yeah, that's exactly what you my know? person was telling me. She's like, you know what? You should think about it as an as a little like saving because mm. they take it out. You're not noticing. Obviously, you notice. You're like. <laughs> Six hundred yeah, for taxes? <laughs> like really? Yeah, because in your checks, um, they show how much they take off, and it's it gets pretty intense. You know? Yeah, and I'll be like, damn, bitch, what you gonna do with that, all that money? If you taking five from me and five from him, that's a G already. <laughs> yeah, where's that money going like, to? Man? What the fuck? <laughs> like you got me fucked up. Like you feel me? But it's just one of those where it's all like she's right. Um, it's a little money saving, you know? Yeah, I at mean, the end. Because I know those. people. I know people get kids. like, yeah. Ooh. If you have kids. Yeah. And if you're married too and shit. So yeah. it was a lot in play. I was like, what? It was crazy. You start thinking like, yo, should I really get married? Like, you start like, thinking, should I really like, put a ring? Like, I know I've only known her for like two weeks, but. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, should I really put that onion ring on it? Like, <laughs> yeah. Me? I know I saw some ring pops on sale. Hell actually. yeah. Like, what's up? You think she'll be with it? I mean, a little sour. Uh, I'm going to get her the sour, the sour one. <laughs> yeah, just in case. Sour and sweet at the same time. <laughs> you know what I mean? mean keep her guessing. Both worlds. Hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, man. No, taxes are cool, man. As long as you gotta pay. That's a win-win You know what I'm Hell saying Hell yeah bro But fuck it man So we're in episode 43 You know And uh, we're looking at This beautiful board yes, And the name of this episode Is called um, Getting into debt To get an apartment And the decision To get a music studio 
Oh, okay. I like okay, that. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of long. That's what she said. But you know what I'm saying? We uh, we figured it out. So pretty much we, we kind of want to talk about, uh, you know, when Roger decided to, you know, leave us and shit. And that's when Roger decided to, you know, get his mind right and um, head to Vegas. He had to make a few decisions. You know what I'm saying? And get his get his priorities straight and to figure his life out because I know that was a fucking pain in the ass. And then for me, it's one of those where, you know, what made me kind of want to get a music studio? You know what it I'm was saying? A fucking so. headache, believe it or not. Like yeah. all the little shit you had to do just to get a yeah. spot. No, yes, yeah, studio. It's bet. tough, man. But um, you want to get into it? What's yeah, up? You want to? Like they say in Spanish. You want to? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for Brothers real. Those little requisitos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man you want to talk to us man open up tell us about what you got going on how did that happen man ah uh, well when i you guys know when i moved to vegas i moved with my boy marcos mm. uh and then i was staying in his room and shit but it was too small you know for two people to be in i mean his room's pretty big but at yeah. the same time it was he has a big ass bed and it was one of those where it was too small you feel mm -hmm. me so it was it was about that time to get our own spot and we were gonna get one with uh also my boy jr so it was one of those where it was like we're gonna be roommates and shit it was cool but little did you know you had like just for vegas i'm yeah. just way different from cali bro right so in vegas you have to actually have uh an account of a power what like you, you have to go for us it was nevada energy so we had to go make an account so they could give us power wherever we were gonna go oh the actual electricity and shit? electricity you have to go over there and but over there i think the water and and um the water and trash was included but the power wasn't so you had to go somewhere to go get an account and Fuck. yeah bro so that was new to me honestly because you needed <laughs> that's new to me yeah bro i was i think two months in or a month in and you needed uh proof of your income of your job you needed um how long you've been there mm -hmm. sometimes you need to be there more than six months and since i was only there for two um thank god i had a uh, somebody who hugged me up like from the start He's like, oh, don't worry. I'm going to hook you up. I got you. He hooked me with a job. He hooked me up with, like, he's like, don't worry. Whatever you need, I got you. I was, and he did. He helped me out with the spot. Right. But when I went um to go look at the spots, we were looking at a three-bedroom. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And we were looking at maybe 1100 for a three-bedroom. For a three-bedroom? Okay. And I was like, oh, that's cool. You know, that's like a single in Cali or something like yeah, that. Yeah, for real. So I was like, I'm cool with that. That's like a public storage here. Yeah, you feel me? For <laughs> real, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like a fucking five by five and that's it and <laughs> for like, real. no so we it was a lot of little things that they were asking for that at the time i did not have yeah. but i i had somebody um my padrino who helped me out getting all that stuff together you know but just knowing just taking that step it was kind of scary because this it was a lot of uh documents and involved that you needed to get um it's so new to you and shit. Yeah. yeah. It was something that I'll be like, yo, my mom's good at this shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> but mom wasn't there, you know? Yeah. So my, my parents were there. So something's like, fuck, I got to kind of figure it out on my own. And I'm glad I like the people that were helping me or us get the uh, apartment, they came through. But, I mean, I, I just think it was a blessing because um, they called us back that they didn't have a three-bedroom. Mm -hmm. And um, something happened that we didn't get our third roommate, and I was, like, cool with it. But... We got a different three bedroom. The one that we wanted in the second floor, we couldn't get. Right. And it was a thousand one hundred. They called us like the next day. It was like early, bro. I'm talking yeah. about like six in the morning. Uh, and I had just gotten off at work. I think I had around like four. Damn. And I had gone to sleep and I hear my phone ring. Like they were blowing it up. Yeah. And I answered and it was the lady Maria. I'll never forget her, bro. Shout She's out to dope. Maria. Shout out to Maria. <laughs> she gave me a call. She's all like, Oh, let me hold. Sorry to wake you up, but um, we just got this uh, three bedroom apartment and he's trying to rent it out like as fast as he mm -hmm. can. And I'm, I know you guys were looking into a three bedroom because uh, my homie was not going to move in one of them. Mm -hmm. So we went for a two bedroom, but the two bedroom was like a thousand. Yeah. So it was so like, it was just, just, like, might as just get the three bedroom for a thousand one hundred. So she called us back and she's like, yo, if you guys still want that three bedroom, I got one for seven fifty. Seven fifty. Seven fifty, fam. Damn. And I was like, word? <laughs> Say Dude, less. I remember I, I woke up, Marcos. I was like, yo, bro, I, I don't know if I'm high or I'm tripping, though. <laughs> here, here. Like, I don't know if you said 750 or 7,050. Yeah, bro, but, <laughs> but I don't want to fuck this up. So I passed him the phone. I was like, She's, and then this fool started smiling. So I know it was it was, it was correct. She's yeah. like, yeah, 750? She's like, fuck it. We'll go see it right now. We'll take yeah. it. We'll, we'll take it regardless. Right. 
bro it was a fucking huge dog we had a, a master bedroom with the we it was two restrooms it was a three bathroom it had a washer the whole kitchen it has its own balcony it was it was dope yeah, it was a central good, it, was, a it was fucking sick bro so we took it bro we took it in um and were you did you already have a job at that time like were you already worked crazy bro so mm-hmm. look some shit happened at around that time so I was working with one of my uh, one of my friends, Jr.'s uh, sister store. She had her own liquor store, so I was working there at that time, you know. And I was working, working, and she sold the store. Mm-hmm. But she sold the store right when I got my apartment, bro. Fuck. Right when I got my apartment, so I was just like, so she sold the store, and, and they had their own staff, like whoever they were gonna sell it to. Like you weren't gonna be, you weren't gonna be working there no more. Like no, no, no. Yeah, they. I, I had an opportunity to work there, but not mm. at that store. It was somewhere else. Mm. But the other store, the manager, like her homie, like we didn't even see eye to eye in a couple so of things. It was yeah, it was already so. It was just one of those was all like, nah, I'm good. He tried to give me two days out the week, and I was like, the fuck am I gonna do with two days out the week? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So at that time, I was like, nah, I'm good. Luckily, like not even five minutes away from where we live, um, there was a like a big plaza. You mm. feel me? Dude, that following day, I got up. I went looking for jobs all over around the plaza. And coming back, I think it took me like three hours, four hours. Coming back, there's an AMC, bro. Uh-huh. I will never forget this story, bro. And it's funny because the guy that hired me, he doesn't work there no more. But he and we play online, and he reminds me. He's yeah. like, you, you remember how you bullshit, <laughs> <laughs> bro? It was fucking crazy. And. I'm not saying it's good to lie, bro, but I was, like, so desperate at that time to get a job, you bro. You just got to make a smart adjustments. <laughs> yeah, bro, really smart adjustments, bro, because, like, think about it. We had already paid for the first and last month. Um, I was low on cash. Um, What else? There's a lot. I was, like, against the wall, bro. Like, everything was paid, but I had, a, I had 30 days exactly. To figure it out. For next month, yeah, you know, because we just got an apartment, you feel yeah. me? So I was just like, fuck, what the fuck are we going to do? So on my way back, I see the AMC and something, it was packed as fuck. But something told me, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Go. But at the same time, I was like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm too tired. Fuck that bullshit. I'm just going to call. Yeah. So, bro, it was like around seven. And the reason why I remember the time is because when I went home, I called him. I was like, fuck it. Before I go to the gym or go online yeah i'm gonna call these foods so Figure i call them and i'm always like hey what's up my name is roger um i'm calling because i uh i'm giving a call back because um for hire man mm-hmm. and she's like oh okay hold on let me pass you to my hire uh person yeah. manager his yeah. name was toby yeah so he's all like yo hey what's up roger this is uh toby i think we did spoke today huh you came in earlier yeah. which i didn't but i was like yeah that was oh me. yeah and you said you were and bullshitting then, yeah right? i was bullshitting <laughs> i was like yeah that was me he's all like hey man so right now it's a little packed you feel me but like the rush hour because we have a rush hour you yeah. know he's like but the rush hour is only like 30 minutes and he's like how far do you live i was like honestly i live like five minutes away i live like right behind the theaters like for real i was like yeah he's like all right cool um, come come in at 30 minutes, dude. I waited for 30 minutes, bro. And I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go in. Yeah. It's like my first interview. I went through, like, fuck fucking it. all these stores over here, and this is my first interview. Yeah. So I was like, yo, I'm going to go in there. Bro, I go in there, and he's all like, yeah, man, where do you live? I was like, back there. And then we started chopping it up, bro. I never, bro, I didn't even have an interview. He's a Patriots fan, bro. We were talking about football the whole time. Uh-huh. Oregon, we were talking about football, how I play in college, yeah. he played in college. Bro, it was crazy. I was like, oh, that's cool, man. He's like, all right, fuck it. He's like, oh, uh, he's like, yo, I couldn't find your application. And I was like, oh, bro. <laughs> what? He's like, but it's cool, man. Do one right now. Do one right now. And I was like, all right, cool, cool. I did one. He's like, hey, you you want to start tomorrow? And I was like, bro, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll start tomorrow. <laughs> You're like, I guess. I'll start and I was like, no, nah, bro. Low key, I did that. Yeah, yeah, I was I like, you know what? Let me check with my other job. He's like, what? Let me see my schedule. He's I'm open. He said, you know what? <laughs> bro, I low key, I was like, I came the next day and I started, bro. <laughs> It was a fucking blessing, bro. Like, and, and we la- now we laugh. Yeah, like, I mean, you feel now, me? Now yeah. we're like, hee hee ha ha. You feel me? Because, like, even though at that job I was pretty beastie, but it was just one of those. It was all like, damn, I'm fucking. You gotta like, figure it out, bro. You like, know what I'm saying? I low key that day. I was I was not taking no for an answer, bro. That's good. You and, gotta have that drive, man. And after that, the following week, that's when like things really went good for me, bro. Because yeah. I got hired at uh, the Palms Casino, and then just started. And little from by little, there, huh? I was just like, fuck yeah, dude, because. I didn't have shit. Like, so we had three bedrooms, and um, so my boy Marcos, he's the one that had he had all his shit. You feel yeah, me? but you didn't have shit. I didn't have shit, yeah. so I wasn't really tripping about it's who's a duffel get, bag and shit. That's it, bro. I only had a yeah. duffel bag. You feel yeah. me? And um, and a uh, 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 fucking cobertor. That's it, Leon. Yeah, 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 Classico. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The line, yeah. So I was just like, fuck, dog. Like, I didn't. I wasn't tripping. He got the big bedroom and shit. Yeah. Cause if we had a Cali King, 
And I pretty much had two rooms for myself. So I was like, fool, what the fuck? So that's when, like, things started, like, everything started changing Picking for the up. good, bro. Because I started man. getting my bed. I started getting things that I was like, well, I'm really yeah, got to do yeah. payments and shit. Working my credit. I was excited, bro. Yeah, I, awesome, I remember bro. I even called my mom. I was like, yo, like, things are going real good. You yeah. feel me? Like, they're going real good for me right now. Bro, I was sending her money every uh, fucking month and shit when I could. That's and good though, but that's because you you know you stuck you stuck to your gut and you just be like fuck it I'm just gonna try to figure this shit out. You didn't get lazy, yeah, bro. Once you get lazy, you don't do shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's true, bro. But don't get me wrong, bro. There was times where I was just like fuck. How am I gonna do this? What the fuck am I gonna do? Having doubt. Like bro, like I was like yo, I can't call. Like I can't call. I can't make like bro. There was so much shit going through my head around that time. Oh no, we when I got to that it. fucking apartment, bro, I was like bro, how the fuck am I gonna do it? Don't get me wrong. Sometimes, bro, like this one time, bro, AMC did me thirty, bro. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't getting direct deposit yet, mm -hmm. and they would send me checks and shit, bro. One of the check, one of my checks got lost. Mm. And I was like, fuck. They're like, yeah. So, and it wasn't checked, you know? It was yeah. just, they're just canceling it. But it has to be this little fucking process, bro. Where yeah. They got to make you another yeah, one. Yeah, it takes a minute. Yeah. Bro, rent was due. I was waiting for that check for my rent, bro. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, what the fuck am I going to do? I don't have my cut for my rent and my bills. Like, what the fuck am I going to do? Mm -hmm. I was really expecting that money, bro. I had two things. I could either call home and be like, yo, can y'all send me some money? Mm -hmm. And then the next thing, I could have been a stripper. No, yeah, that, I think that was the best choice. Yeah, Did you so, do that? Hell yeah, bro. You feel As me? You should. Hell yeah. You threw me quarters, dimes, and nickels, but fuck <laughs> Hey, you money's money. Yeah, you feel me? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> para la bar. Yeah, hell yeah. Not like that, but nah, nah. I'm, I'm serious. Some serious note. I, this was my first time taking out a loan. You took out a loan? Ever. Damn. Ever taken out a loan, bro. It was my first fucking time taking out a loan. And that's when, like, I didn't know, bro, about the whole APR bullshit. Interest rate? Interest rate. And I was like, fuck. I'm all oh, like, I what? Know, I know all about you that. You going to give me that for, like, and all I got to pay is 30 bucks. That's yeah. it? Oh, that's it? But that's how they get no, you, bro. Yeah. That 30 bucks, $27 goes to interest rate. And, like, $3 is for what you got. <laughs> yeah, bro. And it's like, what the fuck? It's like, what? I could pay no, in a I year, know. 12 months? I was like, I'm with it, that's bro. That's how they get you, dog. And that's when shit was like, nah. That's when, um, thankfully, I got, like, fucking, they caught me. And it was uh, my padrino. He's all like, nah, pay that shit off ASAP. Because yeah. you don't want to fuck that. You, and then he broke it down for me, like, how much they're getting and how much I'm really paying. And yeah. I was like, oh, what? No, I'll fuck you up. Yeah, bro. But I'm glad I paid my shit. Yeah. And a lot of things started going through my head. I was like, damn, is this how parents feel? Because oh, yeah. I was young, bro. I was like, what, 22, 23? Mm -hmm. And I was just like, damn, is this how parents feel Causes about like, their own shit? Constant stress all the time. And it's like, yo, I got to pay this. I got to pay that. And I was mm -hmm. just like, fuck, that's crazy. Man. No, yeah, it's tough, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, man. My boy looked tired of thinking about that shit. I was <laughs> just like, fuck. Man. Hey, man, sometimes. Like, when you really think about it, a lot of shit happens, dude. Hey, man, sometimes you got to you gotta just make certain decisions that's going to better yourself. You know what I mean? Because I'm sure that when you started doing that shit, um, you know, it got you, my bad, it got you back here where, you know, you started making adjustments to be a better person and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, like you said, you never knew what the fuck that man, like APR and loans and getting your first of the month. Like, none of that shit. You don't know what that is. You just hear your mom talking about it and you're like, what the fuck is she talking about? You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, no, nah, man, shit, I'm, gl I'm kind of glad you went through that. You know what I'm saying? I, I know, like, when you told me that story a little bit, like, a while back, I was like, yeah, I didn't know about that shit because, like you said, you didn't hit us up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I, Honestly, my, my thing was I didn't want to be a failure. Yeah. Like, I did not want to make that call to not be a failure. Like, yeah. the failure for me was not an option. And me calling for help was failure. Mm. And I know that that's the dumbest shit I've, like, like that's ego shit. You feel yeah. me? But I was young, bro. Like, yeah, for me, I wasn't thinking about that. You feel me? But... Hey, you only now. getting older and better, bro. Yeah. Is this how you felt about your studio? Bro, you know. <laughs> or funny. how did that go? No, nah, you know what's crazy? How I got my studio, um, that was a scary-ass decision, too. So so what was going on was, you know, I was I really wanted to get into, like, making music and stuff like that. And, you know, at the crib, you know, Jacob was, let me see. I got my studio. I actually, this month, I have three years with the studio. He was like, he was like so two, he was six, three. So he was like two, three. Yeah. And I remember that, um... Shit, it was crazy, bro, because I wanted to work on music, and, you know, my parents are at the crib doing their thing, watching novellas at the time. Oh, yeah. It's just so much stuff going on, and I couldn't really bring nobody in if I wanted to do things. It's because you, know you were saying? hearing gunshots in the back. Like, <laughs> yeah, I keep hearing helicopters. Senor de los like, cielos and shit. Yeah. I'm like, you feel me? I'm like, damn, mom. For real, I heard Don Francisco and shit before it got canceled. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, I can't do this. 
and I got frustrated, bro. Like I was like, yo, this is not a, a good workspace. Like it's not a workspace for me. Like I can't do nothing. Like I want to, I want to zone in. I want to lock in and do my shit. So I was like, how can I do that? You know? And I started thinking like, and at that time, um, you know, my boy Remedio, shout out to Remedio. Um, uh, we, you know, we were doing so many gigs together and you know, I was like, Hey bro, like, I have an idea. Let me know if you're down. You know what I'm saying? Let me know if you're good with it. And I said, I want to find a music studio and let's go half on half. Let's, let's, do, let's, let's, um, you know, because, you know, probably get some mixes done, like some, like a good workspace. And he was like, hey, you know what? Like, fuck it. Like, let me know what's up. I started looking online, bro. So many places, like where it's, you know, where it's going to be convenient. And and then um you know I found this this spot where we're at now yeah where we're at now and I emailed I emailed her and I was like hey you know uh, I see that you guys have this spot like how does it work like you know just give me the the rundown and she was like hey you know we actually have us one open right so she's like you want to come visit it so I came I I took it wasn't even this one it was another one and I looked and I was like oh, okay like for sure and I told me I was like what well, yo are you down. And at that time, like, bro, I didn't even know how I was going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't, because like I told you, bro, I didn't, I wasn't working yeah. like at all. It was just gigs and stuff like that. But I said, I have to put myself in an uncomfortable position so that I know that I have to bust my ass. You know what I'm saying? And so then she emails me back like, yo, we have another one. Come take a look at it, which is the one we're in here. And I took a look at it. And I was like, I told me, I was like, look, bro, if you want to do this with me, like, let's do it. But if not, I'm going to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have to do it. So she, she sends me an email like, hey, like, are you going to get it? Because I have somebody else interested and I need to get rid of it already. And I said, fuck it. And I had to deal with the things that you did. I had to bring, you know, a paste up. I had yeah. to show all that. And I was like, I don't even know what the fuck that means. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I had to bring all that shit in. And I said, fuck it. I'm going to do it, bro. And thank God for that decision, man. Like, you know, we had the studio for about three years. And... Don't get me wrong, bro. Every month, I'm always thinking, how am I going to pay it off? You know what I'm saying? Like, I always think like that every month. How am I going to do it? How am I going to do it? But you're in a position that you have to put yourself in an uncomfortable position because it's only to better yourself, you know, because I'm sure you learned a lot from that. And I've learned yeah. a lot from this, as in I have my own workspace. You know, I get to bring people in. For example, next week, you know, we're going to bring, you know, we're most likely going to bring Q in. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I'm just glad, bro. And, and and the reason why I say that story is because I feel like sometimes we get so stuck in an idea. And an idea is just an idea, you know, and you have to speak that idea into flourishing. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, and sometimes, okay. you know what I'm saying? I've been seeing the captions. I've been seeing your quotes, too, on I the grand grand. You feel me? But honestly, man, we just want to talk about that. And I'm looking at the time, and it's, we're already on about to hit 25 minutes. That's crazy. See, that's what I'm saying. When we start talking about stories, bro, we could get into it, you know? But, no, nah, man, the reason why we say that is because you know uh, hopefully that could be a lesson that fuck it just take the risk you take know we're young right now yeah, you know what i'm saying we're young we're in our 20s for the people that are listening that are in the 20s if you're in your 30s that's young too if you're in your 40s that's young too fuck it like don't put no time frame in the shit that you can do until you're the 101s then that's when you really gotta worry yeah about then it. that's that's a little different but for think about it man it's like you know for me having a six-year-old son and to think about how i'm gonna get a studio I had to put myself in that position, you know what I'm saying? No matter what, because I'm trying to better myself, my family, and everybody around me, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully, you know, if you guys have an idea, whatever the fuck it is, fuck it. I was honestly almost at 20000 in credit card debt at some point, and I said, fuck it. I got to do what I got to do, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to keep telling you guys stories, man, because I feel like that could be helpful for everybody, you know? And I I want to I wanna know how many more of the jobs you had in Vegas and shit. Because uh, I heard stories about when you were a chef, bro. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Now I you got snaps. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. But, you know, we want to wish you guys a good day, a good week. And hopefully everything's been great. Hopefully the Valentine's Day has kind of eased up already. Yeah, or, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully the suegras and yeah, everybody everybody's cool. Out, like for me. If you didn't get our gift, go to Target. Everything was 40 to 70% off. So mm. just say, hey, I didn't have time. And be slick. You know Slick what I'm shit, saying? Slick shit, baby. Everything's been good with you, though? You been solid? Everything been good with All right, me. man. Well, I just, actually, I got to check in, you know what I'm saying? Publicly. Ah, you know? <laughs> All right, man. Hang with B-Drop Podcast. Happy day. Happy wife. Happy life, bro. Peace.